beautiful people, today's recipe is a delicious beetroot soup. It's also known as Ukrainian or Russian borscht. This is one of my favorite soups. The taste of this soup is so unique and I've been making it for quite a long time now that I really wanted to share this recipe with you. So the main ingredient for this recipe is beetroot. This root vegetable is actually really healthy and it's very good for you. It contains vitamin B9, which helps the growth of tissue and formation of cells in our body, so it's really good for pregnant women. It's also known to lower blood pressure because it's rich in potassium. So if you have high blood pressure, it's really good to start including this vegetable in your diet. And it's high in fiber, so it's good for our digestion. Anyway, I've been sharing lots of soups on my channel, but this soup is so unique and the taste is so good that I really wanted to share it with you. And today's recipe is actually the traditional Ukrainian borscht. So let's get started with the ingredients and I'll show you how to make it. I've added a list of the ingredients with the exact measurements in the description below, so make sure to check it out. So let's begin by peeling the beetroot vegetables. You can just use a vegetable peeler and it's relatively easy to peel them. And then the next step will be to cut them in half and use a box grater to finely grate the beetroots. And then as you grate them, set them aside so we can cook them later on. The next ingredient in our soup is fresh cabbage. Cabbage will give that nice spicy and sweet flavor of the soup and we will also grate the cabbage using a box grater. Once you grate the cabbage, set it aside. And then let's prep the rest of the vegetables. You can finely chop one onion and set it aside. And you can also peel and chop the carrots into small pieces and set them aside. And one final step will be to peel and chop the potatoes. You will need to add them to water to prevent them from browning. And now that we're done with all the prep of the vegetables, add three tablespoons of avocado oil or any oil of your choice to a large soup pan and then add the grated beetroot and saute the beetroot on a high heat until it's soft and turns slightly darker. You will need to cook it for about 10 minutes and stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Once the beetroot is cooked, you can go ahead and add four cups of hot water. Then stir everything well and bring it to a boil. And once it's boiling, we can add a few more of the ingredients. Drain the water from the potatoes and rinse them well. And then add them to the soup and stir well. In addition to the potatoes, at this point we'll also add the chopped fresh carrots. And once you have the carrots and the potatoes in the pot, you can cover it and then bring it to a boil and cook it for about 10-15 minutes until the potatoes get soft. While we're waiting for the potatoes to cook, let's prep the rest of the vegetables. You can use about 3 tablespoons of avocado oil to saute the onions. So add the onions and cook them on a medium heat for about five minutes until they get softer and you'll know that they're cooked once you see that nice brown color. And at that point, you can go ahead and add the grated cabbage to the mix. Stir the cabbage with the onions well and cover it. You can cook it for about 
four minutes until the cabbage is softer. And after four minutes, it's time to add the tomato paste. Saute the tomato paste for a minute and then mix it in with all of the vegetables and let it cook with the onions and cabbage for about three to four minutes until the taste of the tomato paste mix in with the onions and cabbage. Meanwhile, our soup has been cooking and the potatoes at this point are soft enough. So we can add the sauteed vegetables to the mixture. The beets have given such a nice color to the soup. Once you add all of the ingredients, you can stir really well. And then we have one more important ingredient to add before we add all of the spices and that's navy beans and you can use any beans of your choice cannellini beans is another option you can also use red kidney beans any beans of your choice but i find that um, navy beans work really well with this recipe and you can just rinse a can of beans or if you use dry beans you'll have to cook them separately drain them and add them to the mix so once you add the beans, it's time to add the spices. You can add two bay leaves. They will give such a nice flavor to the soup. Then sprinkle about one tablespoon of sea salt. That should be good enough for the soup. Followed by one teaspoon of black pepper. And I also added a teaspoon of cumin. Cumin mixes really well with beets and potatoes, so it will give that nice flavor. And then mix everything well and let it cook for another three to four minutes. To add more flavor to the soup, we'll also add some fresh garlic. So I just freshly minced some garlic, about two garlic cloves. You can add even more if you like it slightly spicier. And at this point you may need to add additional cup of water. I added just one more cup of water to the soup. Bring it to a boil and let everything cook for about five minutes. Meanwhile, let's chop some fresh dill. Dill is one of the best ingredients in this soup and it will give that lemony fresh taste to the soup. Once you finally chop it, you can just sprinkle it over the soup. And at this point, we're almost done with the soup preparation. We have just a few more steps and that's to add three tablespoons of white vinegar and you can also use any other vinegar like apple cider vinegar I just find that the white vinegar works really well with this mixture and then our final touch is to add freshly squeezed lemon juice I use just a half of lemon And once you have all the ingredients in, you can stir well and then let it cook for just one minute so the vinegar, the lemon and the dill mix really well with the taste of the vegetables. And at that point you can turn it off and our soup is ready. You can see how rich the color of the soup is and it looks so tasty. 
and it's time to serve it. This is one of my favorite soups. I love this beautiful combination of red beets, potatoes, beans, and cabbage, and that mixed with vinegar, lemon, and fresh dill gives such a nice, beautiful flavor to the soup. It's also a really good antioxidant, and uh, it's really good for a cold or flu because we also added some garlic and fresh herbs. So I hope you make it and you enjoy it with your friends and family. And you can decorate it with plant-based yogurt, such as coconut or almond milk yogurt. And that will give such a nice freshness of the taste. And it's the perfect finish for the soup. You can also sprinkle some uh, fresh chopped dill for additional flavor. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe and if you did, please share it with your friends and family so they can take advantage of this beautiful and tasty dish. And if you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe and click on the bell so you can get notified next time I upload a delicious recipe. I'm sharing some helpful links, so make sure to click on the description below. And if you like this recipe, I would love for you to comment. So thank you again for tuning in with me this week and I hope you stay healthy and stay safe. Have a great day.